Good morning, Boomers. Boomer Ranger Ron here. It's uh, good to be back with you again. I'm traveling right now. I'm actually in Atlanta, attending a couple graduations. Uh, grand granddaughter graduated from Belmont Abbey College. Uh, Morgan did, and uh, Ryan's graduating from Mill Springs Academy this coming Saturday. Listen, if you well, we have a lot of videos planned for the year, so please, if you like like my videos, do. Uh, do hit the like button, hit subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Uh, I'm hoping to be uh, doing some turkey hunting when we get back to Connecticut. The season ends on May 27th, and um, I'm very much probably going to go out with a shotgun on the farm. And um, I showed you earlier this print at my son's place done by Michael Collins. It's a beautiful turkey permit. It's a print. Uh, it's a print. It's 200 or 500, but it's nicely done. Hangs in Ron Jr.'s house here in Atlanta, and it's uh, signed to my friend Ron Lanzo. So uh, since we both have the same name, uh, we're both friends. When we lived in Kennesaw, Georgia, actually, and I'll show you some of those pictures, we had wild turkeys in our in our subdivision at Lost Creek, right in our backyard. In fact, I used my front lawn every night as a launch pad, a tarmac, or runway, if you will. Uh, they flew off to roost every evening right off my front lawn. So fast forward to Connecticut, there's nothing more exciting, I think, than spring turkey hunting. Nothing more exciting than calling in a gobbler. And uh, if he comes into your decoys, it's just awesome. It's exciting. He, um, I attended a seminar a couple times, and one of the gentlemen giving the instructions said that if turkeys could smell, you'd never kill one. But uh, they have great eyesight. They have great hearing. You can't move. All right, we have an up, um, upcoming crossbow review planned for you. When I get back to Connecticut, I'm going to pick up a I'm going to pick up a new Wicked Ridge M370 at Bass Pro Sports, Bass Pro Shops. As you know, for some time I've had some issues with the Barnett Raptor FX, and uh, Barnett's customer service has been uh, simply spectacular. They've replaced the helped me convert from a um, plastic arrow tab to a brush holder. Um, they've, they've sent me just about everything I could possibly need. I did have to buy a new string. Of course, my friend Woody over at Bass Pro Sports was nice enough to um, replace that string for me at no charge. But um, the opportunity was sensational. I'll tell you more about it in an upcoming time. But uh, it was an impressive find to get something at 370 feet per second. I'm anticipating that if I use a light arrow, it may go to 370. If I use a little heavier arrow, it may go to 350, which will still be considerably higher than the 285 that my Barnett Raptor FX was shooting the last time we tested it. Anyhow, uh, do stay tuned, and uh, we hope to bring you some great contact this year, all right? Thank you, fans. Stay tuned. Hey, Boomers, good morning. It's Boomer Ranger Ron. A day I've been waiting for for a couple of weeks now. We just did get back from our North, our South Carolina and North Carolina and Georgia trip. And uh, as you may or may not know, I did order from Bass Pro Sports an M370, Wicked Ridge M370. This is a bow that I've wanted for quite some time now. So um, this morning, we're going to pull into, um, that's Uncle Buck, Buck's fish bowl. But that is Bass Pro Sports Outdoor World. And uh, as you probably know, it's Memorial Day weekend. That's why all the flags are out. But um, anyhow, um, this is the Bridgeport Bass Pro Sports Shop. And um, I've become actually quite close to Woody. I just know him by Woody. Uh, he's the archery manager. And uh, he works on Fridays and Saturdays. So because I was going to be out of town, and I did pick up this deal of a deal of a lifetime. As I said, I've always been wanting a um, Wicked Ridge. Wicked Ridge is the um, Wicked Ridge is the second label, if you will. It's a second label, a step down from Ten Point, and Ten Point's in Ohio, and it is a. Um, all made in America bow. It shoots at 370 feet per second. It is the lightest crossbow on the market at five and a half pounds. That's obviously before you add the quiver and some other things, but it's still 
very light. It's as light or lighter than the current Barnett Raptor FX that I have. And many of you know I've had some issues with Barnett, but the customer service has been phenomenal, and I will keep the Raptor as my backup bow. But moving forward, um, this coming season, I'm going to focus on, on working hard on the Wicked Ridge M370. Now, that 370 feet per second, that's probably what their lightest arrow. I'm thinking if you go to the heavier arrow, it'll probably be 350 feet per second. Last week while we were testing the Raptor, the best I was able to get was 285 feet per second. I have gotten as much as 315 feet per second, and that bow is rated at 330 feet per second. Now, none of the ratings really come true depending on how your bow set up, whether you've made it quieter by putting some um, rubber uh, suppressors on there, silencers. I have a feeling that we went to the brush, we put the brush uh, arrow holder to replace the plastic clip. I think that slowed the arrow down a little bit too, but it did improve the accuracy. So anyhow, we're going to go see Woody because he's the manager of the um, Bass Pro Sports Archery Department. Uh, I ordered this mail order. By the way, the current MSRP on the M370 is $799. That's with the AccuDraw, and that's the crank not the manual sled. Um, the Best Pro Sports and Cabela's both are offering $300 off MSRP. So the price is $4.99. If you buy on a Tuesday and you have a credit card and you're a member, you get an extra 10. So even with sales tax, after the extra 10%, I got $350 off the MSRP. And with the sales tax, it was $478.54. I think that's just a phenomenal deal, and I couldn't pass it up. Now, normally when you order on the mail and have it shipped to your store, you save the freight. Although anything over $50, they ship freight paid anyhow. But it, you're going to miss the boxing and unboxing because Woody was nice enough to pick up my bow while I was away. And uh, he's assembled it, and he's tested it. So he sighted it in. Hopefully he's going to allow me to get into the back archery room and take some more video footage and do some shooting. So definitely do stay tuned. Woody, he runs the archery department here. He was nice enough while I was on vacation, family-wise, he was nice enough to do the unboxing and assemble my new Wicked Ridge M my new Wicked Ridge M370, which I've been wanting for the longest time. There it is. It's such a small, light, well-focused bow. My name, my name's on it. When I'm going to pick it up. Woody, I can't thank you enough, buddy. Really appreciate we it. it. We wanted uh, to get it, make sure it was ready for you. Yeah, great. All right. So I definitely need to read it, and I definitely need to get up to speed on cranking this thing. So. Oh no, I'm going to show you. I'm going to. Yeah. We're going to do that right now. It's all signed in. I actually had a bolt. This is really unbelievable. Let me go get a bolt. I thought I had one on it. You know, used. Woody's worked here for quite a few years now, and right he he was off the day that I bought this. So I sent him an email and told him that I got this incredible price of four hundred and ninety nine dollars less another 10 percent another 50 dollars off and so with sales taxes this bow as nice as it is came in at 478.54 out the door as my cousin tony the comp the crossbow guy loves to say all right that's all for now i'm going to hang this up and i'm going to stop shooting video while i get an instructions okay we're rolling okay um, and the thing is working so Again, this is your weapon. Uh, just like all 10 points, you want to make sure you're on fire. Yep. As compared to being on safe. If it's on safe, it's, it's on safe. Be. It's not going to cock prop. It's got to do with the anti dry fire thing. Correct. So it's got to be on fire. Yep. That's it. You're going to re. This is your cocking system. Yep. Disengage it. Yep. That's going to make this go over the top so of it. Over the top of the scope. Go all the way right down to the string. Going to hook it up. Make sure you're in the middle. Yep. Okay. You re-engage it. Yep. That's just re-engaging, just like a bolt would. Take out, the, take out the crank. Yep. The crank is in the bottom. You hook it up. 
Now, it's not quiet, but it's no big deal. You know, you're going to do this ahead of time. Yeah, do it ahead of time before you get on stand. Are there any rules or regulations in terms of how long it should be cocked? I wouldn't leave it cocked for more than a day. Yeah. I would never let it go well, over. Well, Barnett says four hours, which is ridiculous. That's crazy. I mean, right. we're going to shoot it four or five times a day. Anyway, if you want to stand on this side, I want to just show you. When you're drawing this back, you see the end of this, the end of this, this sled. Yeah. When it gets up near the safety. Yep. You're going to watch it. It'll disengage. It puts, see, now that it goes in the safe. Right. Right when it gets about even with it. All yeah. right. You yeah, see yeah. now it's in safe. Once yeah. it's in safe, you have to stop. Right. Okay. Because if you keep going, you're going to draw this into your mechanism. It's going to mess it all up. Now you go backwards, right? Right. Now you have to go a little bit further, disengage it, and then unwrap it so three you didn't times. Crank it. You just went a little bit further and disengaged. How many times do you have to crank it back? Three times. Three times. Three times will let it so that there's no more pressure on it. And Once there's no more pressure, release, release that. And store it. Right store it right there. Re-engage oh, it. Now, good. if this is if this is a little bit wobbly, you can put this in a one click. Okay. That makes it so that it's tight. It's not going to wobble. Right. This can go back in. And that's real solid. That's locked up nice. So, so now it doesn't make any noise. Doesn't rattle. Of course, you've got to. I just grabbed this. This is Do one more. They give you four carbon or four aluminum. They don't give you any. They don't give you any. Nope. Oh, I thought you got three all I don't time. think huh? you got them. I've got another box out there. I don't think these come with any, but i got to check. I don't think the I, M370... I thought you were supposed to get three arrows. If it is, they're just a regular... Uh, I would believe... Three, I'll check. I'll check. Three, i got a brand new box unopened out there. I'm already sure that the 370 speed is not going to be obtained without the carbon. If you go to the metal one, it's going to be around 350. The aluminum? Yeah, but they all weigh about the same. Yeah, the the double X seventy fives they they weigh four hundred grains with the head. So, yeah, so they're about the same. All right. Did so, you wanna, you're ready was to there a click? Was there any click when you put the arrow against the string? No, there's no, no there's nothing like a raven, nothing like that. Right. It just goes in. When you come in, you don't want to come in on an angle. Right. Because what you're going to do is you're going to bend your your tab. I've had so much trouble with those tabs. Yeah. So you want to make sure you're straight. Right. Try to keep your hands when you're touching this above your cams. Yeah. In case something happens. Your, the string shouldn't go too much further than the cams. You're up here, you're never gonna get your, lose your fingers that way. Now, I was on the website and I was looking at some of the accessories. Do you recommend installing the string stops? No. Or no? No. No, okay. No. They don't do anything. Except slow the bow down. Not only that, but they, it doesn't do anything for quietness, doesn't do anything, it's add, just added add weight. weight add added weight, added weight. And, and this already is, one of the reasons that we bought this is this is the lightest crossbow on market. I love the way you installed it on the right, the quick release. Well, that's why I asked you if you were right-handed. Yeah, hand. I am right-handed. So that way there, we can uh, get rid of that. Um, and uh, if you're, whenever you're ready to uh, to let her go, you can you can give her a shot. She should be sighted in. She was for me. Um, yeah, I can actually do this at 20 yards, right? Well, I I sighted it in for 20. Yeah. Um, they said it comes from the factory at 20. Yeah, but you know, I, I still. Takes a little bit. It was off quite a bit when I when it fired. I mean, it's paper tuned for 20. What I would do, um, right, for sure. is, uh, the safety is here. Yep. Let me. Um, could you just lift that up and not aim it down there? I want to turn that thing around. I don't like the way that that part of it, this part of it sucks. So what I want you to do is shoot a different side of this target. This part is way. It's been shot too many times. How about if we pin that balloon up? <laughs> I want you to shoot at the heart, the little white heart okay. of that heart, okay? Now, to be safe, you notice I move this bow, just not taking any chances That's whatsoever right. while we have a person down range. Safety, safety more than anything else should be first and foremost. I am going to spin this around just so you can see me take my first shot, very first shot with the, with the uh, Wicked Ridge. I'm going to zoom in and Woody asked me to aim at the heart, which I'm going to do if I can see that little white spot. <laughs> you can uh, adjust the back of the scope. 
to fit your eyes. Right now it's set up so that I can well, see. Well, I'll, I'll uh, do that later. I'll take the first shot. I, I have trouble with optics in terms of... Having them focus? Yeah, I have trouble That's with That's what I mean. Focus. That one can be... It's a really crisp scope if you, if you set it up for your eye. That's why I, I mentioned that. Right now it's out pretty far because I got, I got oh. crap eyes myself, so... My very first shot. And you want... Me to you can, the, uh, you, yep, as long as, if you need to, you can change about, the angle of that. No, we're talking about the first crosser, right? Top line. Yep. Top, cross top line that's side up for 20 yards. Safety still on. We're ready to fire. Okay, you're hot. Never put your finger on there until you're ready to pull. That's right. You're hot. Nice gentle squeeze right on that heart. Finger's wobbling a little bit. This was, uh, this was shot number two at 20 yards with the Wicked Ridge M370. And it's a complete, you can't get any closer to the middle of the heart. I've been wanting to shoot a balloon for a long time. <laughs> Today is my opportunity. <laughs> there you go. Today's we just happened to have one over there. They had, a, they had a class last so night. Right in the middle, right? Yep. Aim right for the center of that balloon. Safety's off. Fingers over the trigger. Again, you can reset, you can refocus uh, that scope for your eye if you need to. Piece of cake. Nice job. <laughs> <laughs>